All right, Pisces, let's do, damn, cutting the deck to the five of wands and five of swords. Well, damn. Okay, I was gonna do a reading for what is your person? Person on your mind, what is their next move? What's their next action towards Pisces? The person most on your mind. When you click on this video, what is their next action towards my Pisces? Please, Spirit. <clears throat> All right, person up most on Pisces' mind. I'm gonna get a couple cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle to start this reading. So let's see, person most on Pisces' mind, Spirit, what is the next move and how are they feeling towards my Pisces? All right. How is this person feeling? How is this person feeling? The person on Pisces' mind currently when they click on this video. I lost myself for a little while. So this person maybe um, lost their way. So many things remind me of you. So this person is constantly reminded of you. Uh, maybe see a car or hear a voice or a song or something that reminds them of you. I'm starting to understand our connection and I feel you even though we are apart. So this could be a soulmate of yours or someone who, you know, is energetically tied to you. We will be together again. Wow. So this person's holding out hope that you guys will come back together, Pisces, or this is you. Okay, one more. I love you unconditionally. Oh, so Pisces, whoever we're tapping into right now, keep in mind that not every single message that I put out for Pisces is going to resonate with you every single time. Um, I feel like some people get that misconstrued or confused. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can't stop thinking of you thinking about you, excuse me, and I hid who I really am from you and just being near you is intoxicating and I look for you everywhere. Whoever this person is, Pisces, that we're tapping into, um, I feel like this person is <laughs> almost haunted by the memory of you. Um, I just heard too little too late. <clears throat> okay, so we will be together again. I love you unconditionally. So this is someone who, who has a lot of love for you. They're constantly thinking of you, reminded of you. Um, you may pop up on this person's feed is what I'm also getting. So say if you guys have shared memories or pictures, you know how Google does, uh, you know, two years at this time, pictures that you've taken or shared, even if, I don't know how that works. I think even if you delete them out of your phone, they're still saved to like your Google drive. Um, you know, most, most people's anyway. So someone may be getting like notifications or something that's remind, like, like they can't get away from the thought of you. Okay. But I feel like this person has, you know, they maybe lost themselves for a little while, lost their way. Uh, they maybe didn't understand the connection between the two of you, but I feel like they're starting to now, uh, if they're, even is I feel like you guys are in separation whoever I'm tapping into okay this may be someone from like past you know I'm getting one two years ago okay all right so let's see what is this person's next move spirit what is this person's next move four cards single jumping cards only you already know how I roll all right Pisces King of Cups, damn, this person is like six of wands. This person is yearning for your attention. This person is, this person may be holding their emotions back from you right now, but this person does have a lot of love for you. I love you unconditionally, King of Cups. This could be another Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, or just someone who, you know, is embodying the water energy. Yeah, they're definitely feeling in their emotions, okay? They're wanting some type of victory and success with you. They could be wanting your attention. 
Tell me this person's next move. This person could even be watching you online with the Six of Wands, Ace of Swords. Ooh, that's the truth. Okay. So this person is gaining some type of clarity. This person may be wanting to have an open, honest communication, some type of breakthrough, Two of Wands. This person is at a crossroads, needing to make a choice or a decision, possibly between two. What is the King of Cups for 200? <laughs> Okay. What is the King of Cups? This person's next move. Ooh, the Five of Wands. That should give me chills. I don't know why. This person may feel like they have to compete. They may feel like um, there could also be drama or, you know, some type of conflict here surrounded by being caused by other people meddling in a situation. This could be friends, family, lovers. Um, maybe this person feels like they have to compete for your love or you have to compete for theirs or there could just be other people here who's creating some type of chaos or conf I almost want to say chaos and confusion, but some type of drama. King of Cups also has a lot of deep emotions. However, he does not wear them on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions, right? So this person may be, maybe they have a lot of deep emotions, but they could be feeling conflicted as well. Um, this person may even be drinking. Show me the six of wands. The chariot. Yeah, they want something here, cancer energy. They want something to move forward. This person wants, this person may be wanting to travel towards you or this person may be at a distance, but... Um, this person, again, may be watching you from a distance, maybe watching your socials if this isn't someone, you know, close to you. This is someone that wants some type of positive movement forward. They want something to, to be victorious. They, they want your attention. But I feel like there, there could have been some drama or some fighting or arguing here. There could be other people competing for, you know, somebody's heart or someone's love or something to that nature. There could be drama caused by other people as well. Eight of Swords and clarifying this, the Ace of Swords. So, yeah, someone here is definitely feeling trapped up in their thoughts in a self-imposed mental prison. This could be surrounding some type of truth or conversation that needs to be had in order to have some type of a breakthrough here. But it's causing someone to feel stuck, trapped, and bound. And this person is, like, heavily in their thoughts. This could be due to some type of truth here or maybe some type of clarity that they've received show me the two of wands for this person's next action three of wands so this person is needing to make a choice or is at a crossroads about making a choice or a decision here to move things in a positive direction three of wands this person may be waiting on something we'll clarify that the star of the Page of Cups. Yeah, someone here wants to express their emotions. I feel like this person, like I said before, this person is still holding out hope for you or holding out hope um, that you guys may, will be together again someday. Show me this Five of Wands. What is this drama? This person may be feeling conflicted within their own emotions here. And that could be what, you know, they may be keeping that to themselves. Queen of Cups. Wow. This person, there could be some baby mama drama as well. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, and Five of Wands. So if this is like, a, oh, I did see a soulmate energy earlier. If this is a soulmate, King to the Queen of Cups, someone here is like, wow, Two of Cups on the bottom. Yeah, this is like a soulmate energy. Um, Y'all share a very deep bond, a lot of love possibly between the two of you. Or there could be drama surrounding a baby mama, baby daddy, or... Um, someone that they're married to or in a, in a partnership with. Show me six of wands and a chariot. Four of pentacles. This person may feel like you're holding back from them. If you're the feminine watching, they may feel like you're holding back from them and they want 
they're wanting your attention. If this is a masculine, if you're the Pisces feminine watching, you're the one holding back. If you're the Pisces masculine, you may be wanting some, wanting this person's attention. You may be watching this person online. Um, or vice versa. Flip the rules according to your situation. If you're cross-watching, uh, there could be a Pisces feminine who's holding back from the situation, no matter what sign you are or whatever. And if you are inquiring about a Pisces masculine, I feel like this person may be watching you online or wanting your attention in some form or fashion. But there, there's a resistance here with this four of pentacles. Some, someone's keeping their emotions close to their chest. They're not expressing them. Queen of Cups. This is someone who has a lot of love. I feel like there's a lot of love in this situation, but there's no... I don't know if there's no action or what, but someone here is definitely keeping something close to their chest or they're holding, holding back from moving something forward. It could be because there is some type of competition or arguments or drama here in this situation or other people that have opposing opinions. Show me the Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords. The Sun. So we got Cancer, Leo energy out here. Six of Swords. Somebody here wants to move something into calmer waters, like they want to, but they're up in their head surrounding some type of truth. Is it about a sun with the sun card? Is this about um, something being exposed or brought to the light? The sun card is the happiest card in the deck, so... Somebody may be worried or like up in their head as to whether something could grow or be healed. Someone needs to speak their truth if they want to be happy, but they're in, they're in their head about it, about moving something into a more peaceful place. So show me the three of wands, two of wands. Seven of coins reversed. Somebody here, I feel like, is at a crossroads. Someone may be waiting, but someone's someone's tired of... Someone's turning their back. They're tired of investing into a situation. Someone feels like this is a waste of time. Whether that's you or this person, I don't know. I think it's you, Pisces, but uh, why is the seven coins reversed? Or maybe you feel like this would be a bad investment. Um, or someone's no longer wanting to invest or plant seeds into this situation. Someone's turning their back and looking elsewhere, looking towards their future. Give me one more on this. The hair font. For someone out there, someone may have invested into a marriage that was a complete waste of time or they've got like some type of loss of uh, maybe a contract or something that they're in. They may be waiting on on something to make a choice or a decision, but uh, give me one more. Someone feels like this would be a waste of time. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. Hmm. 
do the reverse. So, there, I don't know. There could have been, um, somebody maybe decided to take action and let go of their fears. Someone here may have also not been using their intuition. They were just maybe about a Queen of Wands or Aries Leo Sag Taurus is here. There could have been some type of poor investments that were made into a higher level of commitment or a contract. They may be waiting on a final decision or a choice to be made. There could have been some secrets that came out or some things that were hidden that came out as well about a contract or a marriage, about a poor investment, and someone's waiting on a, a decision to be made. Okay, so show me the sun and eight of swords. Ace of swords. Sun, eight of swords, ace of swords. Sun, four of swords. Somebody's up in their head as to whether, you know, there's some type of like, truth or clarity there's something here that someone needs to like speak up in order to have a breakthrough but they're up in the, their head as to whether or not they can heal this situation princess of swords this could be about information about a child could be a younger aquarius libra gemini or a leo Someone here is also watching someone heal and be happy and it's causing some type of mental conflict here because someone else is having a breakthrough or having, you know, some type of new beginning in their life. Some of this four of pentacles, chariot, six of wands, the hanged woman. Yeah, you're the one that's holding back, Pisces, whether you're man or woman, doesn't matter. Someone here is holding back in this situation and they're having some type of positive success forward movement in their life. You may also be saving your money, saving your resources. You've gotten some type of clarity or enlightenment here. You may also be reflecting on some things. Um, and that's, you know, could be why you're holding back. Princess of Coins. You may be receiving some type of new opportunities as well. Maybe from a younger Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Or a message. This to me looks like an opportunity. Show me this Queen of Cups, King of Cups, uh, Five of, yeah, Five of Wands, Seven of Swords coming out sideways, Five of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. So someone here regrets lying, cheating, stealing. Someone here is crying over spilled milk. Uh, there could have been some really harsh words that were spoken as well. Some petty conversations is what I'm also getting. Someone, someone knows about this too. Someone, someone knows. Yeah, someone knows about some some harsh words that were spoken and someone may regret lying, cheating, stealing now that it's coming out in the open. Seven of Swords came out sideways. Someone may know the truth that somebody here is competing for someone or put someone in competition and now they regret it. You got two fives here as well. So there's so, something here is definitely changing, but... Uh, I did hear too little too late in the beginning of this read. So I don't know. Pisces. Uh, Y'all have free will. Do what you please. I see that this person misses you. Uh, this, this is almost like this person's having a hard time swallowing their pride. It's like they're up in their head about being honest. And it's like they're just going to watch you move forward. And I don't see you taking any action. You have new opportunities coming in for you. You've gotten clarity. You're holding back in this situation because you know the truth. You know the truth. All right, so let's get three cards from here to close this reading out. Pisces, if this reading resonates or gave you clarity in any way, please let me know. Drop a comment. Smash that thumbs up button. 
I'm going to get three cards to clarify this read, Spirit. Three cards. Single cards. We have the butterfly and wedding rings. Uh, relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. This may have been someone who you're married to. Or you were in a, you know, a deep connection. But someone was hiding a queen of wands. Like some something came out about another woman. Some secrets came out about another woman. I don't know. This person may have been committed to this other woman. But that was like a poor investment. A waste of fucking time. I don't know. Or um, and this may be someone at a distance. That someone had a choice between two. So whether you were committed to this person or this person was committed to someone else, you know the secrets. The moon is in reverse. You know the secrets. It, Knight of Swords, uh, Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. There's This person needs to like speak their truth, but they're worried about this and whether or not something could be healed. There may even be some information about a child, uh, but I feel like you kind of already, like you already intuitively know that someone here was like competing with you or someone was putting you in competition Someone was lying, cheating, stealing, because you're holding back and you're you're taking new opportunities. You're successful. This person's watching you be successful um, or having some type of forward positive movement in your life. And you're holding back. You're saving your money, your resources. You're enlightened. You're having new opportunities coming in for you. So whatever this person thinks that is so scary that they need to ace of swords, that they need to speak on. It's, it's coming from a place of ego because it's like you already know. You know, so I don't know. Some people kill me with that shit. Like, it's so hard to tell the truth. You know, I've always told people this, like, I can handle the truth. It's when you fucking lie to me is when I got a problem. Like, when you lie, that shows me your character. It's like, if you can lie about something, what else will you lie about? You know, it's like, just tell me the truth. You know, the truth may hurt for a moment, but it won't hurt as much as being deceived and finding out later, you know, like, so people just need to fucking get it together and speak their truth. When you speak and, and come from a place of, of honesty, integrity, I, my left ear is ringing. Um, if it come, if you come from a place of like integrity, then, um, you know, things can be healed, but when you lie and, and do things behind people's back. It's like you can't really come back from that. You know? You can't. Because, yeah, you've already showed your, your fucked up ass character. So just be honest. Everybody makes mistakes. Okay? Let's get three cards from here. I was not feeling that deck. So let's get three cards from here to close this reading out. Change. Yeah. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Uh, I did say something about the two fives out here. There's some type of change that needs to take place or someone here needs to understand that nothing can grow or, or evolve without movement. Like you got to you got to create that change, be that change. All right. And then we have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Yeah. Someone may be losing out something here. They may be sitting in grief, judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yeah, everybody has their own unique path and challenges. We all fucking make mistakes. We've all done things. But when you take accountability for them and uh, act with integrity, even if you do fuck up, if you act with integrity moving forward, you know, you can heal. You can help others heal. You could do so much more. But when you sit there and live a lie and, and have all these, what do you call them, skeletons in your closet... Like you're going to live in fucking fear or anxiety or worry that your little secrets or whatever the fuck is going to come out. If you just be open with it, then it's over with. You can move forward. You can't move forward holding on to all that baggage. It's just my opinion, though. So let's get one more, please, Spirit. One more. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So someone here, yeah, I feel like they're at a crossroads. Um, I feel like someone's waiting for something. But it's a waste of time. Whatever someone's waiting on, it's a waste of time.
If someone's waiting for someone to commit, that could be a waste of time as well. Let's see, what is this person waiting on? Or Pisces, maybe this is you, I don't know. This is whoever's at a crossroads strength. So we got Leo energy. So Okay, so maybe someone's waiting, trying to find the courage and the strength. This could be someone holding back. It's like someone's trying to find their own, like, their, their inner strength. This person may be feeling left out in the cold. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, five of Pentacles. This person may be having financial or health issues. Something that they've invested into may have left them feeling depleted or abandoned or some shit like that. And that could be why they're holding back because they're trying to, like, muster up the courage and the strength to, uh, to take action here. And bring justice justice you yeah, to bring some type of balance to the situation so whatever this person is working on i'm starting to understand our connection i feel like this person is like they're they're trying <laughs> but pisces i don't even know like i don't know you guys have free will let let you know things unfold naturally is what i'm hearing let things unfold naturally i do see that this person is trying to find their inner courage and their strength, but they're feeling like depleted. They're feeling left out in the cold. And excuse me, they may be going through some type of financial or health issues because you have the seven of pentacles in reverse as well. Five of pentacles. Um, yeah, so someone here may be trying to like fix their shit or whatever before restoring balance to the situation or coming in like they're, they're yeah, okay. Pisces. I'm going to leave this reading here. I feel like I've said everything twice. So uh, if it resonates, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.